Hi, my name is Sarah Ward. I'm the owner of Wildflowers Design Studio here in St. Louis. Working at Wildflowers was the first floral studio I worked at in 2001. And I worked with Jane Winters, the previous owner. She uh, taught me a lot about design. Then I moved on to Philadelphia, where I worked at a floral design studio there. Um, part-time as my kids were growing up and really learned a lot of skills there, a lot of about form and space and design with, with flowers. And then my life moved on to Peru and we lived in Peru in South America for four years and it was really exciting to see um, where the flowers came in from the farms and they were shipped all over the world. Then coming back to St. Louis is when I bought wildflowers and have been here ever since. Coming back to Wildflowers and working at Wildflowers before I purchased it, I got to participate in Art and Bloom, and um, I had a piece from Mexico, and um, I had no idea what I was doing, but I learned a lot that year. It was uh, really learning about looking at a piece of art and looking at the color and the shape and how the piece inspires me. I don't try to mimic the art piece, I try to be inspired by the art piece. And I try to use flowers that are my favorite flowers and also bring flowers that maybe people don't see every day. Um, garden style is definitely wildflower style. So that's definitely the flowers that we use like ranunculas and sweet peas, delphinium is what I'm using today. And this is um, a flower frog. It has um, really sharp pointy tines and that's where we'll stick the stems in instead of using floral foam, which we use, but it's not as good for the environment and we really like to think about the environment when we're designing. And so I'm gonna use this in the, in the bowl. I'm gonna place it in the center. This is um, a floral putty. It's waterproof and we use it to hold the frog in place. And the more that you um, move it, the stickier it's supposed to get. Um, I have white hydrangeas. These are um, probably from South America. So I'm gonna add this to the vase and I'm gonna put another, put three in. A lot of times in design, floral design, we work in odd numbers, three, five, seven, nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this three hydrangeas in. And you wanna, when you're putting in your flowers, you wanna do them to the side. A lot of times we don't usually put the flowers in straight up and down because that'll give you a very, uh, linear uh, arrangement, you want to want to have that movement. Thinking of an arrangement, especially for doing art in bloom, you always want to think 360 because people are going to look at it from every side. Sometimes when we do arrangements that are for like a wedding, we can leave the back pretty simple and have the front have more flowers. But So we're always turning our arrangements around so that we can look at them from all sides. And sometimes it's good to back up and to look. It's good to kind of just be moving around and looking at your arrangement that way. So next I think I'm gonna start with some sweet peas. These sweet peas grow on the vine. You can grow them here in Missouri. In the summer I've grown them in my garden. They're really pretty, but they don't look like this. Um, these are specially grown for florists. These are from Japan. These are um, really beautiful. They perfected getting them really tall and and a long stem so we can put them in a vase. So I wanna kinda of get some, some movement going. And the, um, one reason why I chose the, the sweet pea is because of the, the white porcelain um, in the vase. These are really true white flowers. A lot of flowers um, are more of an ivory cream color, but sweet peas definitely have that true white um, color that you see in this vase. This flower that um, I have is called Lysianthus. It comes in many different colors, pinks and peaches, and even like a brown, like a tan color. Um, really pretty flower. Gives you that wildflower look. So I'm tending to focus more on flowers at the base, but then I'm gonna have that, that negative space more at the top of this arrangement. I always have to put quince, this is quince, into my arrangement. And I like it because it just adds texture and line to your arrangement and just feels like it's right out of the garden. This is really pretty delphinium and uh, they come in light blue, whites, purples, and then this really pretty kind of royal blue. I don't like to leave everything at the same height. So these are pretty similar in height, so I might adjust them or add something to give it a different dimension. 
Uh, delphinium are really pretty, they have multiple blooms. The heads of the delphiniums tend to stick together. So I've learned this little trick, um, it's called the flower shuffle and you kind of shake the flowers and they'll come apart without ruining the blooms. I want to fix some of the holes at the bottom so that it looks more polished and more finished. Most of the time in our arrangements, we don't show the rim of the vase. Um, we let the flowers flow over, but this is a little bit more of a modern design. So just a greenery is a great way to fill in holes. Um, just at the bottom of your arrangement. And as, also, at, this is um, scented geranium. It smells really beautiful. Um, and it has really roughly leaves, so it adds some texture to the arrangement. And it's always really good to step back and look at your arrangement from all different angles um, before you say you're finished. It was so great to be here today at the Art Museum to create an uh, Art and Bloom piece for a beautiful piece of artwork. Thank you all for being here with me. I'm glad we could be together virtually since we can't be together in person. Thank you.